What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more tech and more reviews. And as of lately, I have been really interested in the docking stations, USB Type-C docking stations, Thunderbolt docking stations. And I got my hands on this one. This is by OKX, and this is a USB Type-C triple docking station. Let's get this thing open and let's check it out. So as mentioned, this is the actual box for the device. Now this box really comes with no other things except for this on the back, which is gonna basically tell you what's on the actual docking station. But in order to see that, we're just gonna open it up and see what we get. So right away, you are greeted by that box from OKX. And this is the actual device itself. Now, taking a look at this device, you're gonna get USB 3.0, 3.0, you get headphone, you get a microphone jack right here as well. So headphones as well as microphones. You get SD card slot, micro SD card slot. If you turn it around on the back, this is where you got your ethernet, your power input, your output to your computer or your input from your computer. You got USB type C, that is a 3.0. USB 3.0, 2.0, 2.0, display port, display port, and an HDMI, which is 4K, 60 frames per second. On the bottom, you get nice little rubber feet so that it doesn't slide around on your desk or your tabletop. Sitting that to the side, we have another box right here. Let's get this box open. Let's see what other goodies they give us. All right, I think it's empty. So you get a USB type C cable right here. This is your power adapter right here. Now, let's go ahead and get this thing connected, get it hooked up to the monitor back here, and we'll do a little testing and see how we actually like this thing. All right, so here we go. Got it plugged up, got it ready to go. I even got like SD card, I got a thumb drive in there, I got a SSD in there. I got a mouse hooked up. So I got the works in there so we can actually run the gamut and make sure this thing is gonna work. Now, I will go ahead and stress this up front. There is a list of things that this will work with and what it will not work with. Uh, number one item you know on my list is iPad Pro and it, it says on its list it does not, it is not compatible with your iPad Pro. Just keep that in mind. If you're gonna buy this for your iPad, it's not compatible. Now. Like I said, there is a list. I will leave that list in the description below so you can check out everything that this is compatible with before you go out and spend your money. This thing is gonna run you about 200 bucks. From time to time, it does go on sale, so you may be able to get it for a little cheaper than that, but for right now, about 200 bucks. Another downside to this is it is not plug and play. It's not just sit this on your desk, plug it up and use it. You're gonna have to download software. Uh, you're gonna have to download DisplayLink software. It only takes up about 18 megabytes of space on your hard drive, but you will have to download uh, software to run this. You can't just plug and play. That's number two, just keep that in mind. Uh, other than that, let's check it out. Let's plug it up, let's get it checked out. So it's gonna connect through USB Type-C, of course. Okay, so we do have power pass through. It lets you know it's on, it's working. My SSD and my SD card also popped up, so uh, it, it's working so far. Now I do have a mouse connected to it. This is a Logitech uh, K380, I think, or K340, that's what it is. And as you can see, it's over here off the screen and I wanna show you that I'm using this and you can see my mouse. So mouse is working. You can see it moving around right here and I'm gonna just click up here to close that out. And we got screen back there, we got screen right here. Now what I wanna do is actually mirror this display. So right away, what I'm noticing is when you put this in a mirroring mode, it doesn't really scale um, to that screen. And I have this on the highest setting right now and everything's still a little small, but everything still looks good. It's still working. And let's say I want to actually move some data around. So I'm just gonna transfer some things. Um, let's see, got a movie. Want to transfer it over there. 
speeds are pretty fast now all these movies over here are at least a gigabyte so um these are basically my youtube videos just try another one and this one is taking a little bit longer but it's still working and says it has about one minute left all right and it counts down really fast and there we go so speeds on your transfers are pretty fast uh, no issues with those speeds uh, just because everything that I'm normally doing is like a gigabyte or two gigabytes and under so those speeds are great for me so as far as my display goes it gets a big check as far as data transfer from device to device it gets a check and it also works with your peripherals it gets another check only downside is it's only going to work with certain devices and you're going to have to download software in order to use this other than that everything seems to be pretty good and in order so let's say i want to close the computer out and just use this display up here there we go so you can close that computer it's sitting down here and now i have this display you can even put this to the side and just kind of hide it off the desk and then nobody will ever know so in order for you to achieve multiple screens at a time you're going to have to use a windows device now you can actually connect one extra screen to this setup I just don't have one available right now, but I do have DisplayPort and DisplayPort to HDMI over here. Microsoft Windows 10 running on my Samsung Flex, and I got a game going right here. I got productivity going on in the middle, and I'm watching a YouTube video over here. Now, all these things are possible, and you can basically go simultaneously through these devices. So I think this thing is a great device for your at home setup. Uh, most of us are working from home now and you can have a zoom meeting going, you can have your document up and you can also have something playing over here if you want to watch it. But this is a great little setup for you to have. Like I said, the only downfall is the ability to connect it to tons of devices. And I'm going to leave those devices down below that you can and cannot connect to. And then on the other hand, you also have the fact that you have to download the uh, some software to actually run this device. Other than that, it's a great device. And I think it's one that you may want to check out. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that big thumbs up and I'll be sure and drop a link below so you can check this out for yourself. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.